Hey everyone, it is Havel High here bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are doing another What's Next video, but we are focusing on JP, the Japanese version of Dokkan Battle, and we're going to be talking about the three year anniversary that's flowing into end of January and early February. So, uh, w when this is video is recorded, it's recorded on the 9th of January, so we still have a lot of time left for things to happen and matriculate, but. Uh, uh, if this is the first time to my channel and first time to the series of videos here in the What's Next video, know that these are just predictions. These are my thoughts. Uh, most of the stuff isn't verified. There's a couple things that are verified, but most of it is uh, is just predictions. It's my thoughts, my feelings on what's to come in Dokkan Battle. Primarily right now we're talking about JP. So let's get to it here. The first thing I do want to talk about is uh, what is kind of verified. And that is uh, Vegito Blue. That is LR Vegito Blue, by the way. And this is something of a touchy subject for global players because we thought, being the legendary election that we had back in July and our two year anniversary, that we would be getting this card exclusively for uh, global, but in about three hours, four hours or so uh, from when this uh, video is being recorded. Uh, this card will be dropping, not the LR version, but the SSR and the TUR version will be active on JP. Now, in my opinion, my prediction that we won't get the LR Vegito Blue, uh, the ability to LR him in the middles until the three year anniversary uh, or toward the end of uh, January. So once again, my prediction on that, uh, but JP will be getting the SSR and the TUR opportunity to TUR. Uh, right around the corner uh, maybe the same issue with global they might start with just 21 uh, of the Patara earrings uh, and then slowly trickle down I'll tell you what it's it, it has been a, a long struggle waiting for this card to actually arrive but at least hey we have the art here uh, this is once again preliminary of what it actually would look like um, and once again my prediction February three-year anniversary Let's go to the next prediction. Let's go to the next. My next thought. My next thought is, uh, and of course, if you agree or disagree, feel free to comment below. Uh, love to hear what your thoughts are. Let's talk about the three-year anniversary. Three-year anniversary is is going to be huge. Uh, if you don't play Dokkan, every anniversary uh, has been just amazing, amazing stuff that comes out. So I'm going to be basing this video off of one picture that came out during New Year's, and this this picture. It was a thank you for uh, from Dokkan from JP, uh, you know, wishing us Happy New Year. But there's a lot of stuff going on in this picture that drove me to believe that the three anniversary is going to be a lot based on uh, on all these here so all these little characters uh here but the let's start first with the one that's smack dab right up front not jiren jiren will we be talking about later okay uh is uh ultra instinct goku he's right there in the middle there and he's one of the first cards that we were able to get a dokkan exclusive unit but not the Dokkan event to Dokkan Awaken uh, the character so uh, we've been waiting uh, on JP for a while um, uh, Global just ended up getting uh, Ultra Instinct uh, just recently so I feel and I think everybody else is, is predicting that we are going to get the Dokkan Awakening event uh, in uh, at the three year anniversary. So what will that look like? Well, this is gonna be kind of like a Havel Cards series as well here. Uh, you know, I do create uh, my own fan made card art and stats and things of that nature. I think it might look something like this. Once again, this is a prediction. Uh, I made this thing here, so it came out all right. And um, we're gonna call him Final Eruption Goku, uh, the TUR version of Ultra Instinct and uh, he is the Realm of Gods category lead so he'll end up being plus 3 HP and attack defense 150% so he'll be the int 150% category lead um, and I'll tell you why that's kind of significant uh, uh, at the end of the video and then um, his uh, other leader skill if you're not using Realm of Gods which is really one of the best categories in the game right now uh, is uh, int type key plus 3 HP and attack defense 50%. I created his super attack not as Kamehameha, but uh, it would be Omen Fist. But you know what I would love to see would be that Kamehameha that he did to uh, to Kefla. So uh, once again, I made this card way back uh, when uh, when Super didn't even show that uh, 
has shown that episode yet. So uh, his super attack would be greatly raises attack and causes uh, immense damage to enemies. Uh, greatly raises attack with the Kaioken uh, dynamic. What, what do you mean by the Kaioken dynamic? You can unlimitedly raise his attack as the fight goes on and on and on. His passive skill I uh, created as force power and just increased everything uh, by 10% uh, and then his uh, triggering up to uh, 80%. So HP, I'm sorry, uh, attack and defense is plus 80% flat plus an additional uh, key plus three and attack 80% and a high chance to evade enemies attack for eight turns when HP is 80% or below. So previous to this, previous to the uh, Dokkan uh, Awakening, it would have been uh, uh, 50%. You, your HP has to drop below 50%. This one would be a, a, a lot easier to trigger at 80% and you'll only do it once only. So Link skill, virtually the same. I just added Fierce Battle and then there's the stats below. So. We'll see if it ends up being this card here. It might actually end up being the Kamehameha version of it. Uh, I would have probably done that uh, Havel card or my fan-made card uh, uh, with with that move there. But hey, this was the the move uh, when it came out with that. Uh, he's you know he's rushing with that punch with that crazy uh, scary uh, possessed scream that he had. So uh, so anyway, tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, you think I'm correct on? this card let me know let me know in the comments below so let's keep on moving here and let's going back to this picture here we talked about ultra instinct goku but there's a lot of other stuff going around once again jaren we'll talk about it at the end so uh every single character on here except for a few are already dokkan cards or dokkan units ultra instinct goku and then on the top there we have Khalifla, we have Kao, we have kaba right they're all the same exact uh, art uh, and uh, they're all units on the other side there is Tien there's Master Roshi there is uh, Golden Frieza there's the Universe 6 Piccolo there's uh, 17 there's Ultimate Gohan and there's Vegeta Blue what we don't have what we don't have of course Jiren I already said we'll talk about him later Jiren is the art for two characters on here that I'm going to do a close up on and that's Krillin and 8 and and 18. Krillin and 18 are pretty close together that I don't think that that is a card or a unit that it's going to be separate. It's going to be one sole unit there and it looks like one. So, uh, I feel that that's going to be a card coming out in 3 year anniversary. I think people will enjoy that card. The question is will they be free to play? Will it be summonable? Well, how I'm thinking about it is, is it going to be a new LR or just a TUR support unit? Now I didn't have the art for from that uh, uh, that picture, so I just you know got some of this off of uh, Google, and that came out all right. Created a little card there, it came out okay there. So hey, who knows? That could be like maybe the SSR and the TUR version is the the art you saw before. So. But the reason why I say it's Super Strength LR is because there's a pattern going on in the LRs. And I've said this many a times in different videos, but I'll, I'll quickly go over it again. These are the LR God leads, the 90% leads, right? So that's, we all know those uh, cards in JP because they're all out and global it's not out yet. But then these are the plus four to key HP and attack defense 100%. Uh, with the uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku just coming out recently. But there's a pattern. I want to show you the pattern. Uh, you have the 90% extreme AGL, and then you have a super AGL as the plus 400% version. Then you have extreme tech, and then you have super tech. Then you have super int, and you have extreme uh, extreme int in Bojack there. Uh, hopefully you can see that pattern. Extreme AGL, ex uh, super AGL, extreme tech, Extra, uh, super attack, super int, extreme um, int. What's leaving behind there is there's going to be, there should be, because there's ex extreme strength, a super strength, and uh, for the um, uh, super uh, physical, there should be extreme physical. So if they are going to make uh, LR, um, if they are going to make uh, Krillin and 18 and LR, then super strength would be would make sense because they're not going to be extreme on there. But you might go, well, well, super strength. There's already a super strength in LR Vegeta Blue coming out. Well, LR Vegeta Blue is free to play. Well, then you might go, well, there's already a hundred percent Rainbow Leader in Goku and he's strength. 
super strength. Well, I know that, but he's also free to play. There still will be a summonable unit at that super strength that's going to coincide with the plus 4 to key HP and attack defense 100%. That's once again a prediction, but I'm very, very sure that that's going to happen in Dokkan in the near future. So with that, uh, you know, I, I still think that uh, this card here will either be an LR, uh, Super Strength, or it could just be, like I said, a summable tech unit, uh, support unit. And that would be great as well. And that would be just good to see another uh, card with two characters on it. So now let's talk about the, the one that everybody has talking about is where is the Jiren card and let's just talk about the Jiren card that's the card I created and the artwork you know everybody's used this artwork already it's been out for a very long time but it is one of the best artworks that that are out there uh, on, on Google you can search that on there but I just made the background it looks pretty cool on there and um, uh, the question then is what type of unit will Jiren be well, I think he's going to be a category lead, but the question is what category lead will he will he be? And I think that's pretty easy to maybe figure out. I think he will be the um, Universal Arc Tournament category leader. I know there is one already in Goku, but it's not like a, a very high summonable one. It's it's a free to play one, uh, so he will be the uh, uh, the other version of it. And what type will he be? Well, I'm going to use another again another pattern that we see. These are all the category leads right now uh, on JP. And there's a pattern going on with the 150 lead. So if you think he's going to be a 150 lead, which I think he will be, there are one, two, three, four super type, super type um, uh, 150 leads. All right, uh, the two having Dokkan Awakening and Kefla and uh, UI Goku. The Tapion just came out. He's a super type uh, category lead. Uh, along with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So what's missing here in the wheel of uh, type advantages is strength. So I believe that Jiren will be the uh, Universal uh, Survival uh, Saga, Universal Survival uh, Arc uh, category lead and he's gonna be just like in my opinion and my, my prediction he's gonna be just like Goku and Kefla he won't get a Dokkan Awaken right away he might get a part two maybe a part two in, within the uh, uh, the three-year anniversary but they're gonna tease us once again and it's gonna be plus two to key HP and attack defense 120 and with strength type uh, key HP and attack defense uh, 40 percent uh, hey he's gonna have also another Kaioke dynamic but even better because it's attack and defense unlimitedly the power impact of the super attack with his passive skill, eliminate evil. Um, uh, actually, I changed that. I'm sorry. It shouldn't have been eliminate evil. It should have been um, master of uh, of justice. That eliminate evil is from someone else. Uh, but anyway, his uh, passive skill is plus 80% attack right away, and then defense 40% for all allies so he will be defending all allies because he's just so powerful and then enemies will get a debuff with a medium chance of evading his attack including super attack so hey he's gonna be OP when he comes out and that's pretty OP as a passive skill uh, categories there uh, his link skill supreme warrior tough as nails hero justice because of the pride fighters shocking speed prepare for battle and tournament of power and then he's gonna be the universal uh, the universe survival saga leader there with the stats there now there is another option. There is another option that he might, because going back to this here, he might end up being on the below side with Golden Frieza and Bardock as the uh, category lead with um, attack and defense 170%. And then if it's, if it's going to happen that way, I think he's going to be AGL because there's, has, there's not really that many AGL uh, category leads except for Tapion at this point in time so basically all the same stuff oh intense discipline is what I what I named it uh, was his passive skill everything's the same I just changed it to agility so I think he's either gonna be agility as a, uh, a 170 leader at the attack defense 170 when he when he uh, Dokkan awakens or he's gonna be a 150 lead in strength so the question is what do you guys think do you guys think that I'm correct? Am I totally off base? Uh, once again, if you're new here, like, subscribe, but really comment below. I want to know if you feel that uh, 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 that my predictions might come true, or if you have your own predictions. Once again, love to hear from them. And of course, thank you guys for watching, and 
keep on dog hunting. We'll catch you next time.